Hi everyone, welcome back. I thought I'd do a video on Calathea care for you today. I have been asked many questions on this particular plant, so specifically the Calathea orbifolia. A lot of people are asking me how can I keep this plant alive? Why is mine crispy? Why is why are the leaves like shriveled? So hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips today on how to keep it looking lush. You can see that mine's absolutely huge, hence why I'm sat on the floor with it and not on the table. Um, you can see how big this leaf is compared to my head. This plant was big when I got it, but um, it's grown so much. I've only had it about five weeks, and in five weeks I think I've got about four new leaves and it's just getting bigger and bigger. So it seems happy. And yeah, I thought I'd share some tips with you today. Uh, first of all, these plants don't like direct sunlight or really bright light, so keep it quite far back from the window. No direct sunlight. They like high humidity, um, so if you don't have um, high humidity in the room, uh, I've got a few tips for you. So you can either group your plants together. So if you've got a selection of plants that like high humidity, put them together and that will increase the humidity. Um, another thing is you can sit little bowls of water around your plants. So I just use these little glass kind of vases. So if you just literally sit these around your plants, that will increase the humidity. Or you can use a bowl or cup or whatever. Um, another thing you can do is to mist your plant. I mist mine probably every three days or so with um, filtered water. Um, you can use rainwater as well. Um, I'd probably avoid using tap water just because there's lots of chemicals in and I've heard that calatheas can be a bit fussy in regards to what they're watered with and what they're misted with, so I just stick with filtered water. Another thing you can do to increase the humidity in the room is to get a humidifier and just put that near your plants. And also, if you do your washing, when you put it out to dry, put that in the room where your plants are. And I found that that increases the humidity between five and 10%. So that's quite a lot show you. Normally it's about 60% humidity in here. Um, I've got my washing hanging over in the corner there and today it's 69% humidity so it does increase it quite a lot. So that's quite a good tip. Another thing you can do, um, pebble trays. I don't personally do that but a lot of people have good success with pebble trays. Um, oh yeah, quite a good one. Oh, sorry buddy, almost squashed Martha. Shells. So you might not have heard of this one before. Basically, if you scatter some, just some seashells in your pot, right on top of the soil, when you water your plant, uh, water is eating my white fusion calicia. No. Luckily, calatheas are pet friendly, hence why I have so many in here. So if he does eat them, it's no problem, but obviously I don't want him to eat them. He loves this one. It's hard to keep this quite far away from the table. You naughty. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, seashells. Scatter them on top of the soil. When you water your plant, the water will collect inside the shells and increase the humidity. So that's a really good one. Um, I don't actually do this with my plants inside as yet. Um, I do this with all my tropical plants outside. But when it comes to winter time, I think I'll probably put some seashells amongst the pots. Calatheas don't like the cold, so keep it away from any drafty areas. I had one of my calatheas near the door recently and we had a bit of a cold weekend and the leaves literally all curled up it looked like it was dying but after a few days they opened back up again but I knew it's because it was too cold near the door 
So if you've got a problem with curling leaves, you might find the place you have got your calathea is too cold for it. Calathea is like well-draining soil. Uh, I haven't repotted this one yet, but for the calatheas that I have got that I have repotted, I use um, a soil mix of compost, peat moss, and perlite mixed together. Oh, and a bit of orchid bark as well, and it just gives really good drainage and yeah, works for me. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this is my um, another one of my huge calatheas. This is a calathea louise. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you can see how big it is. It's huge. Um, this one seems pretty happy as well. It's probably grown about eight new leaves since I've had it in the last few months. So it seems happy. Um, yeah, I'm quite new to tropical plants, so I've mainly collected a lot in the last kind of three months or so. But before that, I have had a close year for... Sorry, that's Marv up there just chatting away. I've had one of my calatheas for about 10 years and it's still going really strong. Um, and now I think I've got about nine calatheas at the moment. And they're one of my favorite plants. During the summer, I recommend to fertilize your calathea maybe once a month with just household uh, fertilizer. That'll keep the leaves big and lush. Um, throughout the winter, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe every couple of months, you could give it a little bit of fertilizer. Again, I'm quite new to tropical plants, so I'm still learning myself. Um, I'll be really interested to see how this plant does over the winter here in the UK. Um, once the central heating's on and the air is a lot drier, I think I might have to get a humidifier, but I'll see and then I'll, um, I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you found it useful in some way. If there's anything that I've left out or if you've got any other questions, just leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Probably see you over on Instagram. Um, if you've got any ideas for any other videos, let me know, and I'll see you soon.